you're with us. Thank you that you never leave us. You know, I'm thinking about Matthew 8. I'm thinking about the centurion that comes to Jesus and asks Jesus to heal his servant. And Jesus says, let's go. And he says, no, I understand authority. And I understand that you have the power to do this. All you need to do is speak the word. And Jesus marveled at the faith. That is the name of Jesus. That's the authority that Jesus has. That's the power that he has. He is the Lord of all creation. But he's given this place to us for a little while. But <laughs> he has shared his authority with us. Amen? The first but cancels the second but. Get your butt out the way and step in your authority. But it's true. You think about that. How in the world could he send the word and heal somebody in a distant place? It's because all of creation is designed to respond to the authority of Jesus. And so when you pray, you don't have to ask God to show up and do something. You speak the will of God. And you see the will of God in Christ. You see the will of God in what Jesus paid for on the cross. Amen? So when you pray, it's as if you are rearranging the molecules of creation to match the will of God. That's what you're doing. That's the authority that we have. That's how Jesus could walk on water. That's how Jesus can touch people when he was walking the earth and bring healing and life. And the most amazing thing is, is he shared that authority and power with us. We are barely even scratching the surface of who and what we are. I mean, we should feel so powerful that nothing shakes us, nothing moves us, right? And we stand in that faith. But there's a paradoxical experience that we have right now because we look at the world, right? And most of the Christian world looks at the observable world to determine what God wants to be happening. And that's just not the way we should do it. We must look at the finished work of Christ, look at the state of the kingdom and recognize that's what God wants. And it's up to me to speak that into this earth. Do you believe that? It's a challenge, but you know what? We owe it to ourselves. We owe it to the world around us. And I dare say we owe it to God to not minimize what he's done for us and who he is inside of us. And it's hard to wrap your mind around that. I get it, you know? We, got, we have lots of questions, but you cannot get around the fact he is Lord of creation and he has shared his name, his authority with us. Amen? So just think about it. Just meditate on that. Pray in tongues if you pray in tongues. Just thank him for the authority. If you have a situation in your life that you need to speak the authority, the will of God over that situation, God's will is on earth as in heaven. He paid for sickness to be eradicated. We've all experienced loss, but that's not God's desire. God, Jesus is busy removing the enemies out of his kingdom until the last one, death, is put under his feet and we're hot on its heels. Father, thank you so much for the authority that we have in you. We don't want to minimize what you're trying to do through your body. We speak life and not just waiting for you to show up and do something, but because we are powerful as ambassadors in your kingdom. Like Adam said, it's not abracadabra. It's power and authority. Do you believe that? Father, thank you so much. We just lift you up. And you know what? Today we celebrate life, do we not? Praise God. I mean, come on. Listen, you got to be some kind of ignoramus to go into the ballot box and write Jesus on the ballot. Some of you, that's a little nuanced, I realize, but there was a movement out there to not vote, to not use your stand in your citizenship as an American and just, well, you know, God's in control. Whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen, but you know what? We can change things, can we not? I have hope, do you have hope? I mean, do you really have hope that it doesn't, we could give up on the planet like most of the Christian body does, and just wait for things to get dark, or we can walk in our ambassadorship. Amen? Father, we worship you. We pray. Just celebrate him. Celebrate him. Father, we thank you for the life that we have in you. We thank you for life. We thank you for life, Lord Jesus. We take it precious, and we don't back down. And we take this as a sign of just 
you know what? We can make a difference. Life can win out. We can still influence the nations. You know, and I'm just thinking about, this is what I've been thinking about all week about this situation, is that we are the fulfillment of the promise from God to Abraham that his offspring would be a nation of kings and priests on this planet that would be so blessed by God that we would bless the nations, that people would come to his body to learn God's ways. They don't know God's ways. They just don't know and they fight and they push and we don't need to push back with fighting we need to push back with love but stand for what's right amen man i'm excited father thank you so much we love you we praise you we lift you up just worship him just a little bit longer that intimate relationship that we acknowledge his presence within you thank you that you live in me i yield to you just tell him i trust you i yield to you holy spirit